This is how the login page looks like. Type in your login information and hit enter. Now you should see the dashboard. The dashboard is organized in a long column featuring various metrics and graphs, so you can scroll up and down to see all the data charts and hot links. In general, you can swipe to the right to select the store in your organization, and swipe to the left to apply filters. Click the blue arrows to open up links to other pages. Press this button to access the main menu. From this menu, you have access to the dashboard, video, alerts, live sales, reports, archive, sensors, settings, and map. For example, let's go to live sales. We are now looking at the enterprise-wide live sales dashboard. You can scroll down to see the stores in detail or view an overview at the top. Pressing the blue arrow here will let you view this particular store. The icons on the left show you whether a transaction was card or cash. Press a transaction to view video for it, and press this arrow to view a receipt. You also have access to the video of the transaction from the receipt. These buttons control text overlay, pause, play, and full screen. The alerts layout is similar. Here is the alerts dashboard with various charts. Follow the blue arrows to view individual transactions. This icon indicates that these alerts are for review. You can view the video of the transaction that triggered the alert and also look at the receipt. Now, let's look at video. The default view is to have one larger video feed on top, followed by smaller video feeds below. If you hold down your finger on a video, you can then drag it to a new position like so. You can view video in both portrait and landscape mode. If you want all the videos to be the same size, select proportional view and settings. If you have a 360 camera, you can pinch to zoom in and out and rotate the camera by swiveling your fingers. Clicking on a video feed will bring up a single video, also available on either landscape or portrait. Now let's look at reports. Go back to the main menu and press reports. You should now see a number of reports available. Let's choose one. The data is arranged in a matrix. Click on an icon at the top to see what it stands for. Scroll sideways to see the whole report. You can filter the report by swiping to the left. Clicking on a blue arrow at the right will bring up a list of relevant transactions, their receipts, and videos. When you are looking at a video, you can press this button to take a snapshot, or this button to start recording to your iPhone. Press the stop sign when you are done. These videos can be accessed in archive, and you can press send to archive to upload them to the cloud. If you have sensors in your store hooked up to 360IQ, you can monitor them in sensors here. Use the map for quick access to your stores. You can create camera favorites, groups of cameras, to monitor video feeds from different locations at once.